Hello everyone, this is Sawyer Studios, and today I'm doing another Minifig Monday. But first, I have finally figured out what I'm going to do for 200 subs. I got it. I am going to, in fact, build this set. I'll do a live stream. Yes, this is the Coruscant Police Gunship. Yes, it is in fact sealed in the box. You wanna hear the story behind this? Well, allow me to tell the story right now. So pretty much what happened was that I woke up one morning, went online, saw this Hollowbrook Studios had posted a video. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Watched it, saw he was selling his Lego collection, his sealed Lego collection. Went on his brick shop store, uh, sorry, his Bricklink store, and I saw some sets, uh, but not really any that I wanted. And I noticed that he was selling this on it, but someone must have bought it before I got there. And so I was going to buy one of his sets just to support him. But then I was like, wait, why am I buying a set from Solbook Studio sealed if I could just buy a sealed set elsewhere that I actually want and pour money that way? So I decided to do just that. Went on eBay, did something that is a cardinal sin for me. I did an impulse buy, I bought this. I. I swear, I don't even remember doing it. Like, I, I, I got an email saying, your, your shipment's on its way. And I was like, my what is on its what? And yeah, I just, I feel like I blanked out there. I feel like uh, it was the equivalent of passing out, being drunk and just not remembering what happened, like being wasted. Like, oh, what happened last night? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. I had absolutely no recollection of buying this. Those are the events that led up to it. So 200 subs, live stream. I'll build that. For now, I should have enough sets to occupy myself. Uh, please do not make me wait a long time to build this. So if you're not subscribed right now, right now, please subscribe. Anyway, uh, I am going to be doing a minifig Monday on Commander Fox, a clone minifigure that I haven't had uh, for the longest time. And I, I finally got him in the sealed, um, Separatist spider droid set. If you haven't watched the opening to that video, please do, because... <laughs> if you haven't watched the video of me opening that set, it's a pretty good one. I was seeing if I could get a clone Darth Vader. I also opened the clone walker battle pack to see if I also got clone Darth Vader. I'm not gonna tell you if I did or not, so you should go watch that. Anyway, let's get into the close-up of this figure and why I have wanted this figure for so long. So here is Commander Fox in all of his glory. I'm going to break him apart in just a moment, but just here is the uh, his profile view and everything. And isn't this just one of the best phase one clones that LEGO has ever made? I think it's absolutely amazing. It's phenomenal. Now, this clone actually completes all of my phase one uh, collecting minifigs. I now have all of the phase one type clones. I have the standard ones, the clone gunners. Uh, I now have uh, Commander Fox, as you can see. I have Captain Rex, Commander Cody, Commander Gree, Commander Wolf, um, the Bomb Squad Troopers, the, uh, the Ethkoth Troopers, etc. I have all of them. So this is this was just a very pivotal minifigure in my clone collection, which is why I'm dedicating a minifig Monday to just him. So here is Commander Fox broken down, and as you can see, he has a standard clone head, nothing special about that. But his helmet, look at that. The red markings, those just look nice, very accurate to the Clone Wars version of him. The legs are just generic legs, you know, we get the uh, the tunic, the pauldron, the visor, the accessories, the two pistols, this is all common. What's great about this figure is the torso piece. Now, Lego could have just done, you know, the red arms, 
They could have just done the red stripes on the back and whatnot, but they decided to put the Coruscant security insignia on the front, the senatorial insignia, and it's absolutely beautiful. The detail, just like, look at that. You can see there's a circle within the circle. Like, it's just so well done, and they didn't have to do that, but they did. They went above and beyond. I think this is one of the best clone torso pieces we've ever gotten just because of that design. Uh, I love Commander Fox, I love security clones. Security clones are, I think, unsung heroes in the Clone Wars, and yeah, they just, <laughs> they're great, and because they have red markings and decals, and I think that looks awesome. So, as you all know, Commander Fox, he was great for the first, like, couple, for the Clone Wars movie, Really cool guy to get introduced to. Season one, cool clone. Season two, uh, yep, still good. Season three, then we had that episode where he, it was kind of his fault that the Separatists and the Republic didn't uh, <laughs> create a uh, treaty, a peace treaty in the Pursuit of Peace episode. That was kind of his bad. So yeah, that sucks. And then you got phase two, Commander Fox, and then he started to turn into a jerk, like with the Ahsoka arc, and then he shot, he's the one who shot fives. And then I kind of just like, I, I didn't like him anymore. I think it's funny, his, his ending, uh, if you haven't read the comics, the Darth Vader comics, there's one where he's, where Darth Vader is, you know, executing Order 66 in the Jedi Temple. He finds Dracosta new, there's a huge battle, blah, blah, blah. Um, he like force pushes out the wall or something, or there's an explosion and she jumps out. He's standing there, the clones look up and they're like, oh, I think it's a Jedi, and they start shooting at Darth Vader, they almost kill him. And they're under the control of Commander Fox. Now Commander Fox is like, no, stop! Trying to fly on his gunship. He's like, stop firing, that's Lord Vader. He gets up there, Darth Vader hops on the gunship. Um, Joe Castanew has been captured, but he's like, he's like pissed off at Commander Fox. Lightsaber through the gut, Commander Fox dies. Which I think is funny, because technically, Commander Fox dies by friendly fire, and he kills fives. Um, some would say karma, or just clever writing from the Star Wars authors. I hope you love this uh, figure as much as I do. This is just a really, really cool, yeah, this is a really cool clone, and I'm happy that I have him. Finnit completes, as I said before, completes my phase one clone trooper collection. Now all I have to do is complete my phase two clone collection. I think the only clone I need is uh, that, um, is that 212th trooper from the uh, Umbaran tank. So that's the only one I need left in my collection. I will be keeping a lookout for that. All right, everyone, this is Story Studios, and that is this week's Minifig Monday. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. Click that bell icon if it's not on, and more emphasis on the subscribe part because, please, I like, <laughs> I really want to build this. And I, I was going back and forth whether or not I should make this my 200 subs thing. It's official. I'm making it my 200 subs thing. So, this is it. I promise I will not open this till 200 subs. So let's get to 200 subs by, uh, let's say the end of the year. I'm, I'm a pretty patient guy. Uh, I think I could wait till December. Uh, if sooner, that'd be freaking awesome. And then I'd have to figure out something to do for 300 subs. But yes, 200 subs, this baby, live stream, build, chat with all y'all because y'all are awesome people for supporting me and subscribing and watching my content so thank you to you all you fans i appreciate you and uh i would appreciate it if i got to 200 subs all right everyone this is Sora studios and i'll see you all next time